Good morning. For Traders Exclusive, this is George Kachuk with RCM Wealth Advisors reporting to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago. Well, here, here we are in June and the rally continues. And actually, the rally is strengthening even though we keep hitting new highs on uh, almost all the indexes. Uh, we're seeing breadth expanding and that's really a good thing. And so let me talk about that and what we can possibly expect going forward. So first of all, we have the NASDAQ, S&P 500, the Dow all hitting new highs. That's really good. What we had lagging was the small cap index, the Brussels 2000 and the transportation index. While they still have not hit new highs, they've improved dramatically, meaning the Russell 2000 got above its 50 day moving average. We're waiting to see if it can break into a new high and that would really solidify the rally, although it's very solid as it is. And same with the transportation index. Now, if we look at the S&P sectors, uh, technology and consumer discretionary, that's XLK and XLY, continue to lead. We have materials doing very well, the industrials, uh, healthcare is doing very well outside of biotech, and even uh, defensive sectors like staples and utilities are hitting new highs. So that's a very broad-based market. Now, there are a few sectors that are doing uh, not so good and struggling, and that's particularly if we look uh, break down the healthcare sector, the biotechs really have not participated but we'll get to that a little bit. Uh, financials also are still struggling, meaning they're not down, they're just kind of dead flat in the water since March. We're looking to see if there's gonna be any kind of rotation into those. And of course, the energy sector, which is dead last, uh, continues to drop, so that's probably one sector to avoid. Now, as far as the technology sectors, we still see leaderships in the semiconductor stocks. Uh, stocks like NVIDIA are leading there, Micron Technology just recently broke out, Applied Materials continues to do well. Uh, we also see the Chinese internet stocks continue to do very well. Those are stocks like uh, Weibo, symbol WB, or Alibaba, uh, retail internet stock, uh, symbol BABA. Uh, we have stocks like Momo, symbol MOMO, also continue to do very well. So all those stocks are doing very well. And of course, we have the American, the FANG stocks. Uh, Facebook still doing very well. Uh, Alphabet doing very well. Netflix doing very well. So. Uh, there's a lot of things going on very good in the market. So the question is, will this get derailed? Well, we don't know. Things are still going well. And then what to look for if things do start to fall apart? Well, one thing I would do is I would keep an eye on uh, small cap stocks, uh, some that are, you know, look at the leaders and see if we get some new names popping up. So, so far in the small cap stocks, some of the leaderships and in stocks like a Applied Opto Electronics or Ultra Clean Technologies, symbols UCTT, or a universal display symbol OLED. So, if, uh, so that's if, if the rally starts to fade, you wanna look at the small cap stocks and also you wanna see if the financial stocks, if they start to improve. Right now, the banks are still just kind of resting at support level. We haven't seen a pop out of them. So that's one of the things I look for. Uh, and I look at uh, regional banks like uh, Private Corp, uh, PBTB, since that's held up very well, or Citigroup, it's another bank that's held up very well. Whereas uh, Bank of America and JP Morgan, they're kind of resting at support. They need a lot more work to do. Also, we want to take a look at, we're going to get anything out of the biotech sector. This week, right now, started this weekend, we have uh, American Society of Clinical Oncology. That convention's going right down the street. Uh, usually, breaking news may put a little fire underneath some of these stocks. So far this morning, uh, we're seeing uh, stocks like Puma Bio Biotechnology, PBYI doing quite well, uh, some good news coming out of that. Same with Loxo Oncology, symbol L-O-X-O. But it's to be seen if it can ignite the rest of the stocks. Uh, Bluebird's another name that's doing pretty well this morning. It's B-L-U-E, those are all cancer stocks, and they may do very well. Uh, for now, that sector, some of the smaller names that are leading it are stocks like Supernus, S-U-P-N, or Exact Sciences, E-X-A-S. Uh, but again, they're, they're kind of weak compared to the rest of the technology sector. So in summary, uh, a lot going on here, but technology is still leading. But if things were to start to break down, look to see where the rotation occurs. And it might be just that financials and biotech do start to pick up, but you don't want to second guess that, let it happen. So as always, I say, let price and volume be your guide. Uh, this is George Kachuk with RCM Wealth Advisors reporting to you from the CME Group Trading Floor in Chicago. Have a great trading week.